I came home. Good morning, everybody. It's great to see so many of the great classes of 79 here this morning. First of all, and private uh, appreciation. Thanks also to Emil and uh, Matt for spearheading this effort. Um, months ago, it seems now, Emil um, sent me a, an email uh, in the office and said, hey, what do you think about this idea for a, uh, for a class gift? Because you know, you're going to have to accept it as the maritime administrator. Any big gifts to the academy, I end up having to file mine. I said, bring it on. The signature's done, no problem. So, uh, so it's neat to see. When, when he told me the price tag, I kind of swallowed a little bit. <laughs> and then uh, I think I swallowed a little bit further when he said he had already gone ahead and contracted it. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, good luck there, shipmate. <laughs> yeah, so, he, uh, he came through. I have not seen the, uh, the rendering yet, uh, but uh, you know I know a little bit about the ship and have been aboard the ship several times, including fairly recently. And uh, she still stirs the heart. I mean, she's obviously uh, you know, long past her prime, but she still floats to Philadelphia. Uh, I see her every time I come in and out of the airport there. But as I mentioned, I spent a day aboard her about a year ago, crawling all around the ship, and it brought back memories for me uh, that first began as a very young boy when I visited my grandparents as they were getting ready to sail on a big U uh, on, a, on a cruise to, uh, actually a trip passage to, uh, to Europe. And there were parts of that ship as I went around, even though she's gutted and not uh, you know, in her prime, that still brought back very, very vivid memories. And you just can't help but be very proud to think back when the America and the Big U uh, ruled the North Atlantic and really exemplified the, the pinnacle of, uh, of our U U.S. First Marine in those days. Uh, so I think it's kind of fitting that you know, we, uh, we unveil this mural here this morning uh, to bookend uh, the America, uh, to remind all those uh, you know, generations that have now followed us that are going into the modern First Marine that's so much different from the First Marine that time when these two ships sailed. Uh, and that is, you know, that, that sort of signaled a renaissance in our Arch Marine in those days. And we're kind of in that area again here today where we're really on the cusp of bringing our Arch Marine back to its greatness. It won't be the same greatness as that existed in those days. It's a different industry now. It's a different world. It's a different economy. Uh, but we really have the opportunity. Uh, and a lot of it's going to be led by, I know, the young folks that are here today and graduates that are going to take that forward and make, uh, make America a strong maritime power uh, once again because it's not, it's not a, uh, an optional thing. It, it has to be. Uh, you look at what's going on in the world today. You look at uh, the influence uh, that global trade has. We've got to be a player in that. Are we going to be running many container ships? No, that's not going to be our business. Uh, but there are other areas uh, of, uh, of merchant marine and merchant are really going to be where we continue to excel. All the good ideas continue to come out of this country. You know, the young minds that uh, graduate from this academy. And, uh, you know, I think we have to continue to nurture that. So hopefully this will be inspiration to them. It will certainly be inspiration to me every time I come in here uh, of the greatness uh, that we once had and that we will again have. So uh, thanks again to all of you uh, for being here this morning. It's a fantastic turnout. We're very proud of it. You will be very proud of where our class is done under the leadership of uh, Matt Emil, and uh, I for one can't wait to see it.